Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through the introduction to Python version of Ruby. So what we'll do, uh, we will take example of system Verilog version of UVM and then comparatively we will take the Python version of UVM. Here just we are taking a simple example to print a hello message. Okay. In the later video, we will try to explore more about this Python UVM, how the transaction classes are there, how sequences, driver, monitor and all classes by taking one simple example. So in this video, just I'm going to give you the introduction to this Python version of UV. Before moving to that, let me give you the introduction to system Verilog version of UV. How this system Verilog version of UV is evaluated. So in the diagram, as you can see, before UVM, all three EDA vendors, Cadence, Mentor, and Synopsis had their own verification methodologies. So for Cadence had this URM, for Mentor, this uh, they, they had this AVM advanced verification methodology. And for Synopsis, they had VVM for system verification. Later, Cadence and Mentor Graphics joined together and they made OVM, Open Verification Methodology, in the year 2008 or 9. But the system Verilog uh, version of this VVM from Synopsys was very popular at that time because it had a concept of real register abstraction layer. Then in the year 2010 or 9, all these three EDA vendors came at one place and they made one methodology called UVM, Universal Verification Methodology. And it has a concept of um, multiple language support multiple language for verification so this is what a simple you know explanation of evaluation of system now we will see uh, what are the prerequisites for uh, learning this python uvm so as learning system verilog uvm we should have knowledge of system verilog Okay, similarly, for learning Python version of UVM, we should have a knowledge of Python, basic of Python, like what are the different data types in Python, then different operators, then you should have a knowledge of classes, then OOPS concept in Python, then uh, next thing like uh, how to define methods in Python. So if you know all these basic stuff of Python, then you can you know easily learn this Python version of system variable, uh, Python version of UVM. And if you have knowledge of UVM, SVB, SV based UVM, then you can easily understand this Python version of UVM. Okay, now here we'll take an uh, example of uh, welcome message printing for by, by taking a system Verilog UVM and Python UVM. Comparatively, we'll see that example. Okay, so now let me jump to the code directly. So before this Python UVM, let me show you system Verilog version of UVM. So this is what an EDA playground open online simulator. Here what I did. I just uh, wrote a very simple example to print a message. Hi, all, welcome to System Verilog version of UVM. Very simple message. So, we have to import this UVM package. This will give us the access of all UVM classes. And we have to include this UVM macros.sh in order to use all macros of UVM. Then, this is a test class class test extend from UVM test and this is a factory registration tick UVM component details and as it is a component class in the UVM based class hierarchy 
its default constructor expecting two arguments name and uvm component ID. and this is the run phase right as you know this run phase in uvm system very log version of uvm is a task so we have to define it as a task run phase within parenthesis uvm phase phase okay and in task here and inside that just we are raising an objection and dropping an objection and here after 100 time unit we are just saying tick uvm info get type name will give the class name okay. and just a message hi all welcome to system log version of uvm with this svu and this is what verbosity uvm and this is a module top to invoke this class within this initial begin block we are calling this run test method so this run test method is a task so it will initiate all the phases to start from uh, the build phase to the final phase okay. so let me show you the output of this code so after running this code we expecting that message okay so as you can see over here this info right it is giving the test because the class name is test okay and we give get type name and the message what we give here hi all welcome to the system very log version okay. so at 100 time units you can see hi all welcome to the system very log version of uvm that is SPG. Similarly, the same welcome message we can print using Python version of UVM. So let me show you that also. So this is a simple idle DUT. We are not doing anything over here. Just I am defining input and output. Too. So for this example, you can ignore also. You can comment out this in the make file also. It's not a big deal. Here. And this is what a make file. Very simple make file. We are making the bikers simulator here and Verilog is a language top level language for us for DUT but here we are not very much interested in DUT just we are printing this and top level is simple DUT top level module name and this is a python test name or test bench you can see here test bench so this test bench is a name here we need to do in this module then cocotb hdl time unit and time precedence and we can do or we can give if we want to give for dut and this include we have to import for cocotb in order to include cocotb make rules to check and take care of the simulator setup okay. let me show you the test bench over here so Import Coco TV. We have to import this Coco TV. Import Pi UVM. And from Coco TV dot triggers, we are importing a timer because we are using this array timer. And from Pi UVM import star, it is very equivalent to import UVM package colon colon star, as we saw in the system dialog example. And this is a test class, okay? So at the rate Pi UVM dot test. This is a class test within parenthesis we are saying uvm test we there is no need to use extend keyword to it and this is what a run phase okay. we have to define in python as a diff so a sync diff run phase and no need to give any phase arguments in the parenthesis just self keyword is and self dot raise objection here also no need to give in the parenthesis anything okay. and we are waiting for 100 time unit and here just we are printing the message self dot logger info hi all welcome to the python version of UVM that is python and here we are just dropping an objection and just we are calling uvm root dot run test and we are giving a test name so this as you know in the system verilog uh, version of uvm you may study this uvm root so this uvm root is nothing but a special class a special uvm component class 
that serve as a top level component for all UVM components and it will provide a phasing control for all the UVM components and some other global services. So let me run this code and we are expecting that uh, it should print that message hi all welcome to the python version of UVM. So as you can see hi all welcome to the python version of UVM to this point. So with this I hope you just you know basic you got the basic understanding of how to use this python version of uvm for printing a welcome message so from the next video we will try to explore more about this python version of uvm we'll try to see how to define a transaction class then we will try to see the driver sequencer monitor agent and all other classes and we will take a very simple example to understand first we'll take a combinational example and slowly we will explore more about it. So with this, I hope you have understood a basic idea behind this Python version of UVM. What are the prerequisites to learn this Python version of UVM? Also, I hope you enjoyed this. So thanks for watching. Thank you.